take a look at this world-class real deal jadeite oh wow that one right there is $5.95 the one behind it is $495 real primo bangles you can buy a jade bangle for five dollars or you could spend well you know over a hundred thousand dollars for a jade bangle this one right here is 650 but this one right here is my absolute favorite for 750 little splotches of the green but that yellow i just love it so much i would be afraid to wear it and I don't buy anything I can't wear, but Jade is just stunning. Maybe the best Jade bangles I've seen so far here. I'm sure here in this wholesale show that there's all kinds of stunning Jade. This one's carved. It's really hard to see what it is. It looks like flowers. It's probably well over a thousand dollars. That one's also carved. I'll try to get it in post. It might be impossible with the lighting. Let's check out this necklace. This one is only $395. I just want the jade. The real deal jade height. I told you this story with the lady who fell down the stairs. This is that material. Look at this. Right there. Which one? <laughs> this yellow the and yellow orange, that is Beautiful. fantastic. Uh huh. Alright, folks, here at the G and LW wholesale show. That's registration, it goes, tents go all the way back. It says everywhere, no cameras, so not really allowed to film, but I did ask this booth. This is a big one. Here is like a brochure on all the good stuff about it. Amylite is an opal-like organic gemstone found primarily in Alberta, Canada. It is made of fossil shells of ammonites, which it turns and are, wait, <laughs> would you turn? Okay, I'm gonna cut that out. There we go, good enough. But yeah, this is a big one. I believe that it is coated in some kind of epoxy. Real big, big piece. There are a lot of people who are selling pieces this size. Most of the amylite gem parts on the top Some greens, a whole lot of reds and oranges. So unfortunately, I will not be able to film this show like I'd like. I have been yelled at and kicked out in the past, but uh, there's no problem in asking. These fine folks said it was okay, so I'm sure there's other folks who would not mind me sharing their goods. I think the reason why they don't really want people filming is because there's a lot of, like, finished jewelry around and then prices get thrown out there and things get competitive and there's just some like you know hundred thousand dollar necklaces being sold here that they don't want people filming and misrepresenting anyway thank you to this booth for letting me share some of this amylite love i wonder if they have oh here's another one look at that Beautiful amylite. Here are some smaller pieces. This pair of earrings is a 630. Those cabajons. Some stunning pendants made in gold, most likely. Oh. It says 18 on some of the tags. This one is 1360.
I would love to chat with these people about these Amalite stones, but they are very busy and time is money in this type of venue. I beg your pardon, sir? Yeah. Um, most of the low-end Amalites I'm familiar with are coated in some kind of coating. This has a cap on it to protect it. Um, are higher ends like made more like a doublet than just slapping glue on top of it? Well, these are all triplets. Oh, fantastic. So is the top a, uh, like a quartz? Well, what? Is the top of the doublet a quartz? Not that, I, not that I'm aware of. No. Oh, me neither. No, no, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, no. I figured I should ask the professionals. No, no. And that, and this, uh, the bling around it, it's natural zircon. Oh, fantastic. Um, are you folks the designers? Yeah, my boss is the designer. Nice. Just sitting there, just setting all these little yeah, beauties. He, yeah, he does it all. Do you think you'll ever try to learn one day? Oh, uh, maybe. Yeah, it's in the works. I believe in you. Yeah, <laughs> You're I around believe. all this beauty. Yeah. It's in your blood now. It's it's flowing through your DNA now. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's um. Yeah, he comes to me for ideas and designs. So. I was reading that brochure and it said most of the stuff comes from Alberta. Yes. Um, does it ever come from anywhere else? No, just Alberta. Oh, wow. Yeah, 70 million year old fossil. Um, are the triplets, is it processed and are the triplets made in Alberta or do they send them other places to be worked? No, everything's all, everything's all mined in Alberta. All the fossils, <laughs> that's where they're found, they're made. Fantastic. I mean, and if it's not a whole pop fossil, then you can make jewelry out of it. Which one's your favorite piece? Uh, my favorite piece is, I don't even think he has it anymore. Oh no, he well it. I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> well, I don't. I used to wear it, it was a bear. I, I like this, he made a peacock. What? You see the peacock? Absolutely. And the feathers. And is that zircon as well? Yes, yeah, natural zircon. And 18 karat gold, huh? Yep. Fantastic. Yo, your pen is stunning. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for sharing, brother. You're welcome, man. Is that a dino bone? Oh, yeah, he's making uh, yep. pendants out of dino bone, amylite, and is that opal on the side? I wonder what that... No, it's all... Uh, it's... That I'm eye. not too sure. I know it's dino bone, uh, amylite. Whatever it is, it's natural. It's and I'm natural, sure it's expensive. yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's expensive. Yeah. What is it called when, are these pieces of amylites put together? This like almost segmented looking piece? Uh, I'm not too sure. I don't know how he does it. I don't, I couldn't tell you the mastermind um, behind it. No, you... it's all one piece. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Yeah, it's I didn't piece. know if those were pieces of amylite put together to make that shape. No. Or if, um, yeah, just one piece. Yeah, one piece. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much, brother. Yeah, brother, man. How long has this $50,000 beauty been here? I mean, with your company. Uh, it's only been here just this show. Oh, wow. Just, just, just came from in. Alberta. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. But it's, uh, it's, it's, it's actually 8000 Really? Yeah, it retails for fifty. Yeah, you know, 50000 talks, 8000 walks. <laughs> and each piece is individually marked as a number. Oh, like a cereal. Mm -hmm. can be traced back to the company in case anybody well, you walks just, out you of your a, living room. You get a certificate with them all and everything. Uh, you know. Oh, and you guys can process it to where you get it back too, huh? Yeah, it's both sides. I always thought for some whatever reason it was always a one-sided thing. No, it's double. Thank you so much, brother. I know, brother, man. Some King Mint Nugget turquoise beads. For ten dollars an ounce, I do imagine that they are stabilized. Really awesome. They don't weigh them before they put them out. This way, they don't have to change the tags depending on different shows if it's a higher price point or not. If they go to Quartzite and they want to get a little less money instead of it saying like 125 and having to offer a discount, it's easier just to throw up a thing that lets you know how much it costs by weight and you weighing it than having them replace every single tag. So you can see all of this is Kingman and it's all different colors. You can get some darker greens, some lighter greens, 
some intense teals and blues, some stuff that almost looks like a dirty Sleeping Beauty. This has those little black pits. I wonder if this is old enough to have the stones like where they used to put shoe polish inside of it you would see in some older stones. Could be. The gentleman has been in the industry for over 50 years. For all I know, some of these have been hanging out with them for that long, perhaps when these were a lot more affordable. And now for the first time, after many decades, he can get a lot more. In my opinion, this is kind of the color people really associate Kingman with. I am a lot lower budget, so a lot of my Kingman is more or less this color. But can tell a huge, wide variety. Some of these pieces are almost the color that I would consider Campitos to be. This almost looks like Cube. So as you can tell, it's really tough to know what kind of turquoise you have, like if you have one piece or something. A lot of people ask me, hey, is this turquoise? Hey, what kind of turquoise is this? It's nearly impossible to tell unless you have, you know, documentation telling you or reminding you which mine you got it from or where the gentleman or lady you bought it from um, got it from. If I saw this on the street without knowing that this is Kingman, I would definitely think that this was Hubei Mountain. So it's nearly impossible to tell. a big glob on this one of some kind of stuff they were using to stabilize it. Thank you. Little hard to see. There's one I liked in there. I forgot it was blue. It's almost impossible to see without like ND filters or polarizers through the glass. But if you're interested in the $12 fire agates or the $7 fire opals, don't be afraid to give these fine folks a call. Hit them up on the email. I will put the information in the description of the video. And the phone number. Yeah, I think it's a Mexican phone number for sure. Santiago. Santiago is my uncle. Oh, nice. He now is in Pueblo Show. Oh, nice. Pueblo's open this year. Yeah. Oh, good.